This is the Misfit Vegan Podcast, episode 484. I know we're out of order here, but fuck it. Um, so I just recorded a meditation. I do not, I listened to a few seconds just to make sure that it was recording, and I don't like the way it came out. And let me tell you why. I'm going to leave it up because, you know, fuck it. But I'm going to re record it at home. And the reason that I don't like it is because I sound very, very harsh in the meditation. I'm not like, it's not my meditation voice, you know? My meditation voice is very calming, it's very relaxing, and it's very soothing. But you see, I cannot access that voice for long periods of time outside. And I, I'm very sure this comes from growing up in Brooklyn, New York. Have you been to Brooklyn? We don't fucking meditate on the street. We don't meditate in our house. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I can't access that calming um, persona out in public. And I'm on the beach right now. There's nobody here. But I just can't do it. It's very unnatural. It's almost like, like I can't actually meditate in public. I can't close my eyes. The people that can go to the beach or be on the train or the bus and fall asleep is just absolutely ri ridiculously incredible to me. It's incredible because I would never dream of that. I would never, ever, ever, ever fall asleep in public because you could die, boo. Like, coming from where I'm from, you don't close your eyes. Like, you don't even blink. You feel me. You walk down the street, you don't even blink. So, yeah. And, you know, that could possibly be my, why my nervous system is so fucked up. <laughs> and I haven't slept in like a week. And it's weird because I was, I was really, things were going good. But in the last week, a lot of things have happened. There's been a lot of changes in my life. And... My mind is just racing. And so I know, like I have the proof over and over and over again that it's my mind. There's nothing wrong with my body. I've had all the blood tests. I've done all the things. There's nothing wrong with me. It's my mind, my overactive racing mind that needs meditation and needs to calm down and needs to relax. You know, being in fight or flight will ruin your life. I'm almost 40 and I'm still in fight or flight for 40 fucking years. But every little thing helps. Being at the beach helps. Eating fresh, ripe, juicy, delicious fruit helps. Talking to you guys helps. Doing that meditation helps, even though I was like, close your eyes. Take a deep breath. You know, like, sorry guys. It was a little harsh. I don't know. <laughs> I just, I didn't realize that I needed my meditation voice. I just, I just didn't realize. <laughs> but anyway, it's not too bad, but I can do it better. So I'm going to do it as soon as I get home. And um, that's what I want this podcast to be about. So while I am walking on the beach, I was thinking about how proud I am of myself for doing that meditation, for being productive, for showing up for my workout today. Okay, for showing up for my interviews today, my Zoom calls, my clients, for doing my part in the collective experience here. Okay, I'm proud of myself for eating raw today. And yeah, been doing it for 13 years. That doesn't mean that I, don't, I have to do it because guess what? I never have to do it. I never, ever, ever have to eat raw. I never have to exercise. I never have to do a podcast. I could work at Walgreens. There, I'm looking at Walgreens right now. I live a block away from Walgreens. And I could live, I could work there. Yeah. I could just pay bills and die. I could, I could skip the workouts. Misfitmondays.com. I don't have to work on my book, which I didn't today. <laughs> but I have somebody on Fiverr working on it. She's working on the, uh, the cover. I need a new cover. Um, I don't have to, I didn't have to do my Woodstock Fruit Festival team meeting today. Or last night, I didn't have to get out of bed. You know, every single thing is a choice. And I don't think you realize that because uh, uh, it's like we're making these automatic choices. 
so we don't think it's a choice. Like, you're making a choice to brush your teeth. You're making a choice to go to the bathroom in, in the toilet. You could shit your bed. You could pee your bed. You don't have to get up. So if you cannot find one fucking thing to be proud of right now, just realize that you didn't shit your bed on purpose today. I hope. Okay? Like, put it into goddamn perspective. Because I, I see so many people every day, you know, messaging me, commenting, DMing me, saying, you know, they can't do this. They don't have this willpower. How do you stay disciplined? And it's just like, everything is a choice. You are making constant good choices. But you're just not seeing it. You're just like, oh, well, I wouldn't shit the bed. I wouldn't pee my pants. I wouldn't not brush my teeth at night. Even though Lauren Lockman today, I didn't even know where he was going with this, but... Apparently, he brushes his teeth once a day, and he never flosses. He's never flossed in 33 years. Ay. Are his teeth real? Because if I go, like, a day without flossing, I got 200 cavities. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what kind of teeth this, guy, this man has, but it's also genetics, you know? I really do believe teeth issues are uh, in a large part genetics because my grandma had no teeth, no original teeth in her mouth. My grandpa, my mom died with very little teeth in her mouth. My sister had very bad teeth. Everybody I know of, I'm sure my father has bad teeth. Everybody in my family that I know of had really bad teeth. So it's no coincidence that I had really bad teeth as a teenager and in my 20s. And now my teeth are much better, of course, but I still have, I, I still don't have great teeth. Um, I have to floss. I'm sorry, Lauren Lockman. I have to water pick. I have to floss. I don't have to. I choose to. I want to. Anyway, I just wanted to remind you everything is a choice and you've made some really good choices today. So why don't you do me a favor and why don't you think of five things that you've done right today? Because I know what you're, I know what you're constantly thinking about. You're constantly thinking about all the things you did wrong. Am I right? We're always focusing on what we're doing wrong. But did you ever stop to focus on what you're doing right in this life, in this day? Did you eat any fruit or vegetables today? <laughs> you did some right good shit, boo. Did you do anything good for yourself, for the community, for at your job, for your family, for your neighbor? Did you hold a door open? Did you do anything? What you focus on grows. So when you focus on the things you're doing right, guess what happens? You do more right shit. Pay attention to what you're doing right. And you'll be so much happier. And you'll get more things done. You'll get more right things done. And then one day you'll realize, you know what? I'm not that bad. I'm not that bad. And it doesn't matter if anybody has told you this or not. The truth is, is that you are enough. You are good enough. You are smart enough. You are pretty enough. You are handsome enough. You are enough for anyone that is deserving of you. You don't need somebody to tell you. Whoops, sorry, my alarm went off. I set a 45-minute alarm because I wanted to make sure and and at least be on the beach walking for 45 minutes. So I'm really happy that went by really fast. And um, I'm happy that I did that. That's another thing I did right today. And um, I just want to end it by saying that please don't wait for someone to confirm that you're good enough. For someone to confirm that you're sexy. You are sexy, boo. Please don't wait for someone else to confirm that you are worthy and deserving of love because you are. I'm telling you you are. And then you're like, oh, but you don't know me, Jeanette. But I know that we're all one. You were not, you would not be here if you were not worthy and deserving of love. You would not be created by the creator if you were not worthy and deserving of being here. Because you know the statistic, right? It's more likely that you'll win the lottery than you'll be born. That's how fucking crazy it is to be born it's like a one in six million chance why do you keep taking your life 
and your skills and your character and your opportunities for granted. You're not going to be here forever. Please stop waiting for permission to feel good. Stop waiting for permission to start that book. Stop waiting for permission to start dating. Mm. Stop waiting to lose the weight to start living your life. Your life is here. It's happening. And it could end tomorrow. And you know that. I love you. Please love yourself enough to take really, really good care of you. Because if you don't, nobody else will. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, boo.